Hey guys, Keith Poche here. I want to talk to you today about a swim jig. Uh, you know, swim jigs are a great way to catch a lot of big fish during the fall. Uh, a couple things I key on, uh, water color, uh, of course the vegetation, uh, the type of structure you're fishing, um, is going to dictate on what color of swim jig I use. Um, you know, a lot of times the, the bass are moving in, they're feeding on shad. Um, so, you know, having that combination of a, of a swim jig that imitates a shad going through the grass, that time of the year the grass is up, a lot of grass mat, so uh, you want to kind of focus on ambush points. Um, so if the water's fairly decent, uh, clear-wise, I'll start off early in the morning. If, it, if it's low light, something kind of white, um, you know, something bright they can really see. And I'll fish it throughout the day as well, especially if it's cloudy, uh, something like that. It's always just a, a, a good combination uh, that looks like a shad. I got a little old grub on the back with a little extra action. But I'll throw this thing as far as back in that, in that mess as I can, and I'll just pop it out. Sometimes I'll swim it, but I want to pop it, let it come out of the water, make some splash, make a lot of noise, get that fish's attention. Uh, if it's sunny, all through the day, I'll kind of uh, switch to a, a green pumpkin um, combination, just something uh, a little darker uh, that's going to show up. Uh, as it's swimming through all that vegetation around wood, uh, they can just really pick it up a lot better. And also it imitates a brim. Um, throughout the day, those, those bass uh, feed on brim as well and other stuff. So uh, starting out with, with white and going to green pumpkin. Um, if the water's a little bit more stained, um, you know, back of a creek or something like that, back of some pockets, um, it's more, um, you know, maybe a foot visibility, you know, six inches. I'm going to go to a, a black and blue, maybe with a little orange in it, um, black and blue trailer, something they can really see in that dingy water. Uh, there again, I'm, I'm swimming it down a grass edge, I'm popping it out of the water, making it real erratic. You know, I'm, I'm twitching the end of my rod. That's real key uh, to getting those bites a lot of times. If you're just swimming it slow, a lot of times they just, they, it, won't, it won't trick them to bite it. Um, you know, with this combination set up, typically I'm throwing 50, 60 pound uh, braided sunline, uh, something real strong that, you know, when I get bit, I can, I can get it out, get those fish out. I'm going to throw a, a 7 6 um, heavy rod, a 7 5 heavy eye rod, um, you know, something real strong, uh, eight, to get, 8 to 1 gear ratio, uh, something real fast so I can, I can catch up to them because, in, in another sense, you're reeling that thing fast, you want to make it real erratic. So, um, and that's what triggers those bites a lot of times. So, having that high speed reel, a uh, good line, a stiff rod, and the right combination of, of color, you'll, you'll catch a lot of big, big fish in the grass swimming a jig.